Good Tuesday morning. Utah time is currently 544. We'll take a live look outside Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. Always a pretty view, especially when you can add a little bit of cloud coverage as we approach sunrise. That is going to be a beautiful sunrise this morning, and you can see the water flowing down the Colorado River. Your morning zen out there this morning, currently sitting at 75 degrees down in Moab. Meanwhile, as we make our way up into northern Utah, really cool view here, but we do have mostly cloudy skies above, a little bit of texture in the clouds this morning. In Park City, the temperature is currently sitting at 67 degrees, while we're currently sitting at 81 degrees in Salt Lake. Hopefully, we drop into the 70s because we haven't really done that in the last couple of days, even in the morning hour, 70 degrees in Logan and we're currently sitting at 84 degrees in St. George. Now, as we get into this afternoon, it's going to be another hot day across the Beehive State, so make sure that you're taking those necessary precautions to beat the heat. But instead of daytime highs that are mainly going to be ranging in the 90s and in the triple digits, most spots today in northern Utah will mainly see 80s and 90s, while southern Utah still sees 90s and triple digits, but daytime highs for most today will be roughly 3 to 7 degrees cooler compared to what we saw yesterday. So again, I want to make sure I make the point. It's going to be hot outside, but it won't be quite as hot compared to what we've seen in recent days. And I think that we'll take that win and it will take any cooler temperatures that we can get. A lot of that is thanks to a front that's currently moving its way into the beehive state. As we get into this afternoon, expecting it to kind of stall out in the central portion of the state, but we are tracking some light showers stretching all the way from the eastern Uinta Basin over through portions of Millard County over in the West Desert. We also have a couple of showers in Tooele County. And most of the shower activity that you see in Box Elder County, that's just Virga. That's not actually reaching the ground. But as we get into this afternoon, really no matter where you are across the state, there will be the potential that an isolated shower or thunderstorm will find you a slight chance in our valleys. I think maybe a roughly 10, a 10 to 30 percent chance and then a little bit higher if you're in the high country and in the west central portion of the state. There is also a marginal risk for severe weather, a level one out of five. It's a small possibility, but it is still a possibility. And since there's not a lot of moisture at the surface layer, of the atmosphere. Most of these thunderstorms today are likely going to be high base, maybe low precipitation, but the main concern there will be some gusty winds from the outflow from those from those thunderstorms. Just something to keep an eye on once we get into this afternoon to this evening. Also with that potential for those showers and thunderstorms, we're looking at more of a possibility. We could see flash flooding at more of our southern Utah recreation areas, including most of the mighty five, while it's more so a probability rather than a possibility of seeing flash flooding at Capitol Reef. Maybe hold off on those backcountry hikes for today. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast at six o'clock this morning. And as we go from this morning through around midday today, the best chance for shower activity will generally be in the central and the northern portion of the state. And this particular future cast highlighting maybe the Salt Lake Valley seeing a little bit of light rain. But then as we get into the afternoon, we get that peak daytime heating and that instability being added from that cold front. We'll have the chance for those showers and thunderstorms. I think the future cast is overdoing it, but what it is showing is that there will be a decent chance for those showers and thunderstorms, really, no matter where you are across the state. Again, a slight chance in our valleys and then looking at a little bit better of a chance up in the high country. The chance for wet weather dwindles as we go into tonight as we lose the daytime heating, mostly calm as we start our Wednesday. And then with that front kind of just hanging out, we'll be looking at more potential for those isolated showers and thunderstorms for our Wednesday with that best chance likely coming in central and in northern Utah with a little bit lower of a chance for those of you that are going to be down south. South. But the high temperature trend, not too bad. Closer to our seasonal averages for today, tomorrow, and Thursday along the Wasatch Front. So again, seasonal temperatures mean this time of year it's still going to be hot outside, but high pressure does look like it's going to reestablish its, itself by Friday into this upcoming weekend. And at that point, the high heat will be returning. And St. George daytime highs likely staying just below 110 the next few days. So again, a little reprieve, but still hot outside with overnight lows still close to 80 degrees. Then daytime highs both Friday and Saturday with the peak of that high pressure likely between 110 and 111. Then along the Wasatch Front, a slight chance for the next couple of days. Daytime highs mid to upper 90s. Slight chance early on Thursday, but with high pressure building in, looking at mostly dry skies through the most of Thursday into Friday. And then from Friday, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, daytime highs likely at and above the century mark along the Wasatch Front.